The Music Box Theater really presents an awesome experience. It's different from virtually any other cinema that you're ever going to go to. When Music Box Theater first opened in 1929, film was still experimental. So any theater like this, it was really about the novelty of seeing places far away or experiences that you wouldn't be able to experience in your normal day-to-day -day life. It was originally designed as an atmospheric theater where you walk in and you're in a Tuscan villa uh, with a giant movie screen in front of you and a night sky above you. In the 1930s and into the 1940s, it started to really become more about the film. So places like this were normally ripped apart. Their ornate design was uh, scraped off and replaced with an art deco design or just black. The music box has stayed this way. We're showing the independent film, the art film, the uh, foreign film. It's kind of like going to your favorite bookstore and finding a book that you can't find anywhere else. We've got regulars that come every week that we know by name. Every theater has ghosts. In our case, it's the very first manager, the guy who basically had my job. Uh, he was the manager uh, from opening night uh, in 1929 until 1971. He came back uh, to close down the theater and he fell asleep on one of the sofas in the lobby and never woke up. And every now and again, something will happen. People will hear footsteps in certain parts and I will definitely say that late at night, if you're the only one here in the building, you hear things. But it's not a harmful ghost. Whitey is just uh, checking up on us, making sure that things are still running all right.